Hi friends, welcome to Embedded Dialabs. In this tutorial, we are going to simulate firmware rectifier using Proteus. To download the circuit diagram, just follow the link given in the description. Now open Proteus. Go to File, open New Project, and save the project. And click next then select create a schematic and select default size and next then click on do not create a PCB layout and click next then it's not a firmware so select no firmware project and click on next then finish now you can see the tab schematic capture before drawing circuit diagram you need to pick components from component library click pick devices then select the components first we need the analog source When you double click on that component, it will be added in device menu. Then we need transformer, which is center tabbed. Then add it. Then we need diode 1 and 4007. Add it. Then we need input filters. 2200 microfarad then 10 microfarad Then we need switch as PST. This is for uh, selecting filter capacitor. Then 705 regulator, which is a 5 volt regulator. and 330 ohm resistor one k resistor and LED After selecting all the components, just click OK. Then name the circuit. And go to component mode then place the component try 
transformer. Switch. Input filter. And regulator. And output filter. And current limiting resistor for LED. Place LED in low resistor. Then connect all the components. Then ground the circuit, pick ground from terminal mode, now we need to monitor input and output, so we need to connect instrument, just pick AC voltmeter for input and DC voltmeter for output. Then pick oscilloscope for viewing waveforms. Just connect it in secondary and connect it to the output. It is rectified output. Let's see. Now provide input voltage values just 325 peak to peak which is equal to 230 volt RMS now 50 hertz frequency ok for transformer primary inductance 336 mm and for secondary it is 1 mm you click on OK now save now run the simulation adjust the frequency scale now you can see that this is input sine wave and it is full wave 55 wave this is without filter if you see with filter just connect switch you can see that it is fully filtered output DC LED is glowing and the output shows 5 volt which is the output of 7805 regulator while running the simulation if you close digital oscilloscope 
you can get it back from debug menu just go to debug and select digital oscilloscope now you bring back Thank you friends. For any doubts, just post your comments below or visit your better dialabs. See you soon with another tutorial. Once again, thanks for watching. Thank you.